a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cheesy! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where iron chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the iron chef and challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a challenger wins over the iron chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If my memory serves me correctly, it is already seven months since my Kitchen Stadium was born. My objective has been to search for the heir to Rosanjin, and it's been going on well, but... I've discovered a traitor right under my wings. That man is... There are three Iron Chefs. French, Japanese, and Chinese. You need one more to call them the Four Divas. One more. Iron Chef is needed. That's what I think. And I'd like a shot at it. Very interesting. I accept your challenge. So Hattori is given his one and only chance to take on the others. And if he wins, I have graciously agreed to accept him as a new Iron Chef. Now let me introduce him once again, the president of Hattori Nutrition College, Yukio Hattori. Actually, this man has two faces. One is his official role as the fifth president of his school, the face of an educator. The other face is as the heir to a 500-year-long tradition of Hattori-style cooking. The style originated back in the 1400s. It established the protocol for cooking in a samurai family. And Hattori is the one who succeeds this tradition, he received intense training since he was very young. For example, at age four, he was taught how to peel apples properly. By six, he was able to fillet mackerel like a pro. And at nine, he mastered the cooking of crabs. He still has the scar from a crab pinching his finger back then. Ten years later, he went to college. During those days, he visited over 30 countries, learning the flavors and methods of various styles of cooking. Then, at age 31, he became the fifth president of the school. Underpinning Hattori's dishes are years of interaction with top chefs around the world. His in-depth research enables him to prepare any style of cooking, which is a rare commodity in a chef. Cooking reveals the entire personality of the chef in his dishes. Hattori is a walking dictionary of culinary skills, so it may not be a bad idea to make him an iron chef after all. Let's see. Also, today I have invited a VIP to my arena, a man who is often called the god of French cuisine. His name? Joël Robuchon. The man who made Jaman, a three-star restaurant in just three years, a living legend. He happened to be in Japan visiting his new restaurant, Taivon Robuchon, in the Ebisu district of Tokyo. 
So now, Hattori, in front of Joël Robuchon, this god of French cuisine, reveal to us all your burning ambition. Iron Chefs, you're going down. unusual scenario, to say the least, about to unfold, our color commentator itching to get onto the playing field. So today, in lieu of Hattori, in the commentator's chair sits former Iron Chef French, Yutaka Ishinabe. Thanks for joining us today, Ishinabe-san. Uh, thanks for having me. It ought to be quite a show today. So without further ado, let's bring on Chairman Kaga. Bishoku Academy を、まず皆さんにご紹介しておきたい人物がいます。彼は前々から世界初のこの料理格闘技場にかなりの興味を示していました。そして今回の来日を機に今日ここへ登場が実現したのです。さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください。Indeed, we are honored to have Joel Robuchon here, a man looked up to by virtually every French chef around the world, joined by Jacques Bory, an excellent chef himself. Thank you so much. So, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 今日はその腕前をじっくりと見せてもらいましょう。さあ皆さんおおきな拍手でお迎えください。4歳から料理の英才教育を受けた男、ハットリ・ユキオ。Yes, entering the stadium to compete, not comment, is Dr. Yukio Hattori. And gone is the fashionable black jacket, replaced by a white chef's apron. The man is in fighting mode today. I want them to make a panel of me holding this apple. That's right. Thank you. Thank。さあ Making their ascent and assuming their rightful places in Kitchen Stadium, the men who've laid down their knives on this cooking field of battle, creators, innovators all, and now coming to life, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. They stand the invincible men of culinary skills. French no kami sama no mae de hiro suru hojo sama. So, dare o aite ni shimasu ka? I want Roksaburo Michiba. 
What a call, Michiba. Challenger Hattori shooting for the top, aiming to take down the Iron Chef Japanese. Roksaburo Michiba, so much experience, but still possessing vitality and originality, along with his belief that there are no boundaries to the use of any ingredients in his Japanese cooking. And today, a chance to cook before the French master, Robuchon. What is the theme ロブシオンの口に入れ、それを評価させてみたい食材といえばあれしかありません。それでは発表します。今日のテーマはこれです。今日のテーマ。Truffles. If my memory serves me correctly, truffles are said to be amongst the most luxurious ingredients in the world. Before the battle, for those who aren't familiar with this diamond of cooking, allow me to go over some typical ways of using them. Firstly, truffles are often associated with eggs. The fragrance of boiled eggs, for example, and truffles combined is really quite unique. And one of the most extravagant ways to use them is to harmonize truffles with foie gras. Truffles are also used in desserts. Match them with ice cream, for example, and you're guaranteed to be in heaven. However you use them, you'll enjoy the aroma, and the aroma is the key to today's battle. With French master Robuchon looking on and a theme ingredient he's most familiar with, Challenger Hattori, out of his commentator seat and into the fire against Michiba. Trying to win appointment to Chairman Kaga's stable of iron chefs, can he possibly pull it off? Out of case All right now, the opening gong is banged and Hattori's quest begins in earnest. And the two men, well, Michiba, the first one to make his way up to the ingredient stand to select from among the truffles up there. And finally, here comes Hattori, and with our usual color commentator getting his wish fulfilled to compete against an Iron Chef, former Iron Chef Yutaka Ishinabe. This should be quite an interesting affair. Yeah, well, first, you got to think about how much all those truffles will cost together. Yes. You know, all those up there will cost you around be between five and six thousand dollars U.S. Unbelievable, yeah. that much? Yeah, yeah, and the price is still going up. Hmm, all right. Well, of course, truffles, not an everyday item in Japan. Most folks here do not have these at home. No, no, either either in France, yeah. It's only, only the bourgeois eat this at home. The rest of the people might have it occasionally at restaurants. Okay, and now look here, Hattori opening this, a smaller knife? Yeah, I th this is a ceramic knife that he's just taken out. Ceramic, I'll yeah. be darned. And now a cut in half? Yeah, you can see it's just, it's kind of speckled and spongy. Actually, you know, if you look at the white patterns and veins, okay. they can tell you the quality of oh, the truffles, actually. Okay. And I think it's important to remember, this is a fungus. It's it's not a mold. Okay. You, see, you see the white lines there? Okay, well, good to know that. Not a mold. Sure. And now on the Iron Chef side here, first writing out his menu, a little calligraphy. His usual practice. Fukuzan! Yes, floor reporter Ota, Shinichiro Ota, go ahead. I asked Iron Chef Michiba what he thinks about today's theme ingredient, the truffles, and he said, you know, we don't use this ingredient at all in Japanese cooking, so I don't know. I'll just have to try a few things and see how it goes. All right, but as he always reminds us, there are no borders, boundaries, restrictions to the use of any ingredients in his cooking. The man places no limits on himself in that regard. And you did see a shot of Hattori over at the fridge, and now he is coming back, and... Oh, see, hey, yeah. I've never seen him move this fast before. Yeah. He's already scrambling, and get, getting some more truffles. Hmm. Yes, sir, and reaching over for more. Dr. Yukio Hattori, president of his own cooking school, the Hattori College of Nutrition, an expert commentator on food. He's talked the talk, but today he's going to have to show that he can walk the walk. With this opportunity here to try and win an appointment to Iron Chef, it hangs in the balance. Let's see what he comes up with. An expert on the sidelines who will have to demonstrate some expertise in the cooking arena today. And now the Iron Chef's menu has got about four or five items? Actually, I think six. Six, all right. We'll see if he can complete them all. 
And uh, Ishinabasan, generally in French cuisine, what is the most common of the truffle dishes? Well, the most orthodox way is a terrine. It's combining it with foie gras. And it really goes well with eggs. Okay. Also, if you know, if you want to throw it in an omelet, it tastes great too. Okay, well that's good to know. And uh, that's why Challenger Hot Toddy sounds funny to say that's got the eggs. You bet. Oh, now he's got some spring rolls here, eggs and also vanilla. Vanilla. I'm guessing he might be making something that's uh, trendy right now. All right, and this is the vanilla here. Yeah, I think that's for the ice cream. He's going to make a truffle flavored ice cream here. Ice cream with truffles? All right, yeah. thanks, Doc. Can't wait for that. Ooh, that sounds good. Mm. Now back on Michiba's side at work there, cutting up uh, some lobsters. Yeah, he's got now, that's a big one. He, I still can't tell what he's going to be doing here. Okay, but does lobster go well with truffles? Oh, very nicely, very nicely. The sweetness, they match, it's just perfect. They actually, you know, accentuate each other. Oh. All right, and hey, take a look. Jacques Bourrier in the front, followed by Joël Robuchon, leaving the comfy perch of the Royal Box. These are serious guys, and apparently they want to get a closer look at what's going down on both sides, especially as the chefs are working with truffles today. Wouldn't you say that uh, for these two, truffles are old hat for them, especially for Robuchon? Oh, yes. He's so famous for his skills in handling truffles and his magnificent dishes. Mm -hmm. You know, he once participated as a chef at a formal party in Japan, serving truffles in every single dish. Wow. Yeah. Okay, first over at Michiba's side, and the Iron Chef just carrying on, basically oblivious to his VIP guests. And now Hattori's side, assistant dropping in sliced and diced truffles into that developing sauce. Yeah, he just added a big load of those into the sauce. I, this is actually a perigou sauce that he's making right here, you can see. All right, a perigou sauce on the way. And Iron Chef's side, he's got some broccoli in the pot there. Yes, now this is uh, Michiba-san. He's using a lot of vegetables today. He's, he's placing them on top of the cut pieces of lobster. So I guess what's, he's probably going to steam it here. Okay. Adding a bit of water. All right. That's his plan. Cover that one and steam it. We've got 15 minutes gone, a quarter of the way through, and Hattori's got the ice cream maker in action. Yeah, I, that's definitely for the truffle-flavored ice cream. Good. And now, what's he working on here? What's he up to? Now, let me... T now, this must be uh, spring roll sheets. Okay. Uh, no, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. These are pie sheets, okay. actually. Okay, pies, pie pies, sheets. Uh, perhaps he's going to make a truffle pie or something, I believe. Okay, a pie of truffles. Would that be an orthodox approach here? Yes, very much so. Very, see, he's, he's just cut out the piece. Oh, oh, look at the soft row, the blowfish. It's okay. so elegant. You know, this this really matches well with the truffles. Here on the Iron Chef side, wonder how he'll combine these two. And now what's he working on? What's he up to here? Well, he's got, I think this is a spring roll sheet. All right. What I, oh, no, 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 no. This is a pie sheet, actually. Pie sheets? Yeah, I think he's going to be making a pie here, maybe some truffles and something. Put a together. pie of truffles? Would that be an orthodox approach? Oh, yeah, very much so. I, I think uh, it's been done many, many times before. You say, oh, look at the row of the blowfish. That wow, so luxurious. This here on the Iron Chef side, how will he combine these two? Oh, trust me, these two together, they taste great. Trust me on this. Okay, I will. <laughs> and now on the other side, Hattori seems to have gotten something ready there. He's got, I think this is but the sauce for the where's pie. Where's he taking it? Uh, he's, I don't know what he's hey, up to. To the there. fridge here. Uh, he's chilling it. Maybe he's hes getting into something just a bit too elaborate here. Wh what do you mean? Well, the broth, it's made into a jelly once, and then it's okay. sandwiched. He sandwiches it between the truffles, or he could sandwich it between frog you know, We often do that, but it's very difficult to do skill-wise. So hmm. I, I wonder, and also he has time running. Sure. Kuzan. Yes, go ahead. I spoke with the challenger and asked him how many dishes he's decided to make, and he said at first he had five or six in mind. Then he looked at the clock and panicked and said, scratch that. Uh, be happy if I finish three and that if I'm very lucky. All right, thanks. Sounds like he's already in over his head. Maybe he tried to bite off more than he could chew, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, he's. And now jogging to the rear. Oh, God. You know, time constraint is really a big element here. You know, it's not like he's unaware of that. No, no. Uh, he's, look at Michibasan. Just as I thought, French techniques to fight a French chef. <laughs> Cuisine? Yes. Yeah, let me quickly give you the ingredients that he's pureeing in this blender. Milk, yogurt, prawns, soft blowfish roe, and fresh cream. Back to you. Wow. Oh, how luxurious. Look at that Fish there. and dairy ingredients. And now back with hot toddy. Looks like a coconut there, at yeah, least on the outside. That's celeriac or celery root. Celery root. Never yeah, seen one before. Yeah, these match so well with truffles. you know. But the only problem is they're a bit hard, as you can see him cutting there.
So he's got to get these boiling and get them boiling quick. Exactly, exactly. Time. time okay, time, well, time. both men have been working at a pretty good clip. Both are beginning to break a sweat and hear Michiba unloading the contents of his lobster and broccoli stew job. And look at the deep red color of those lobster pieces right there. Magnificent. This should taste he's really good. He's done a good. fine job with that. Great job by the Iron Chef. Mm. And now Challenger Hattori. Oh, okay. he's got this out. It's a bit chilled and hardened into okay, kind of a well, jelly form. He was able to have that turn out just fine, too, and didn't take him that long to get that one hardened. Yeah, but I you know, I don't know if this is the right strategy in taking this much time doing this. He may be right about that if he has to sacrifice a couple of dishes to get it. Now, but how will he proceed from here? I... What, what Now, what is this? It's chicken breast. Kind of okay. looks like chicken breast. The I, white meat of the breast. I could be wrong. I, it's, it might be, so, yeah, it's soft roast. Okay. And by the looks of it, it looks like an expensive piece of it. Uh, and now, I wonder what, he's got fagura on the side. What What is he going to do with this? Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Now, here are the pie sheets, and they are ready. Okay. All right. Well, all what, right. Do you, what do you have? Full disclosure. It. Okay. <laughs> I got it. I got it. He's he's probably going to throw it all into a pie, and he'll be putting in some blowfish soft roe and what he's got the truffle sauce, just making a pie. I think that's that's his plan. Are you kidding? You can tell all that just by what we're looking at. Well, that that that's my guess at this point. I will <laughs> tell you what, Doc better win. I mean, the Academy might think about keeping you in this seat. Ooh, <laughs> better watch out. Well, he's got prawns here, right? Okay. And what minced okra for the wrapping and what it's already on is the... Uh, That's a spring roll. Okay, I spring think. rolls. He's What else is he putting in? He's got a truffle wrapped in there. This on Michiba's side, and then he'll fry these? Exactly, yeah. All I think, right. I think that's what he's going to do Okay. There. And now back with Hattori. Sautéing some foie gras. Sautéing slices of foie gras, and boy, that is rich looking. Yeah, you know, the truffles alone are luxurious, so he might as well go for the ultimate, you know, in this kind of occasion. Whoops, dropped one, but uh, able to save it, and uh, watch out that pot on his left. Hattori's got his hands full in front of the stove, and talking about luxurious, did you notice Michiba's broken out the sea urchin row over there? Yeah, I saw that mic. Looks great. I've got no idea, but uh, what do you think about the pairing of sea urchin roe and truffles? Oh, it's fantastic. You know, the natural sweetness of the sea urchin, the, they'll create a perfect harmony. 30 minutes All right, 30 minutes gone, 30 minutes to go in the truffles battle. Challenger Hattori against Iron Chef Michiba. Yeah, it's just this is just like Chinese dim sum or shaolong pao. He's wrapping the sauce in together, and when it's done, the steaming sauce will come out with the truffles so, and the foie so, gras. So the jelly cubes will melt into a sauce. Exactly. Okay, yes. very good. Oh boy, not enough time. Uh oh. <laughs> I think he's got too many things on his on up, his plate here. Up against it, and yeah. Robichon and Bori have gone back upstairs, have settled in up there to watch Hattori and Michiba bring this one in. Let's see if we can get a few words from up there. Ota's up there, and if you're ready, take it. Yes, I'm here with our special guests uh, who are experiencing the program for the first time, getting their impressions about Iron Chef. What do you think of the show? It's uh, very interesting. With uh, one theme ingredient, you have a matchup of totally different cuisines, Japanese and French. This is very impressive and interesting. I've never seen a program quite like this. All right, thank you, Joel Robichon. And now, this one by the Iron Chef getting set for maybe some other treatment? Oh, I'm sorry, I think I missed what he was doing. Okay. But something, he was wrapping something in a yeah. yuba bean curd, yes. and I think he'll steam it once again. Okay. Let's a look at that there. That's yuba so... bean curd and truffles, that's got to be a first. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And Hattori really in on it there. Yeah, perhaps he, he might be using this for a decoration. You know, if I were doing this, I'd only make one, you know, but mm -hmm. Hattori-san is just, he's so serious today. Yeah. Uh, he's making no shortcuts here, one per person. So I, I guess this is supposed to look like a leaf. Well, he spent a lot of time on this one. Just hope it doesn't cost him too much. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. An update here. I just received word that Challenger Hattori-san is warming up some Japanese sake in a kettle to be used in one of his dishes. Hattori, not Michiba? That's right. The Challenger Side, huh? Well, that's interesting. Now, what would that be for? Mm, I can't tell. Okay, have to wait and see to uncover the mystery of Hattori's heated sake, and now sauce time on Michiba's side. Mmm, soy sauce. It may be added to some kind of broth here. He's okay. got the truffle slices in it. Yep. I think he's boiling this to add some flavor. You know, this is not very common in Japanese cuisine. Not at all. Mmm, no. 
Okay, well, let's find out what Hattori's up to now. Okay, it looks like he's straining the celery root, making kind of a puree here. Okay, the assistant there next to Hattori and the root's already boiled. Yes, yes, once boiled, and you can see he's straining it through the sieve right there. Right, then the celery roots have softened up nicely, and that's getting done in no time. Yeah. Wait, hey, he just put truffles into Japanese sake. Yes. What, I guess he, he's trying to push the truffle aroma into the sake. I guess it, it's what just, it might be for. <laughs> just dropped them right in. Right. Now, wow. if we can get a shot of the Iron Chef, he has a rice dish. Mm, uh, this might be for risotto. Okay, and the dark piece is our abalone there. Right, right. Now, what about the taste of this one? Mm, looks like it might taste good. Well, when you cook risotto, you do add butter, right? No, I. And th this time, I, I don't think he would add okay, butter. Okay, a butterless risotto and starting to look more like a rice porridge there. Huh? Wait, wait, what? What? What's going on <laughs> what here? He He's got truffles. Truffles in there, and this is probably... What, a port wine or something? Some kind of alcohol. He's trying to match it with the truffle, truffles to let it, what, absorb the aroma? Okay, the essence of truffles residing in the drink. <laughs> Where does he come up with these ideas? No idea. I don't think any other Japanese chef could possibly come Squeeze up with on. this. He's a caution. <laughs> yes, go ahead. You should have seen Hattori-san's reaction when he heard the 20 minutes to go announcement. Sheer panic. 20 minutes? No way! I think he's in shock. Well, the 60-minute time limit really puts the squeeze on, and, uh, while well, I can understand a lot of challengers having difficulty coping with it. I'm surprised he is today. He knows what it's all about in here. Yeah, he's, he's, he's probably saying to himself right now, already? <laughs> oh, no. You know, he has seen several challengers, you know, come in and be done in by clock mismanagement. And you, you think he'd learn from their experiences and not suffer the same misfortune himself, but he's under the gun now. And Michiba is starting to deep fry his spring rolls. Yes, he is. Look and these that. contain prawns. A bit of okra, too. Right, and truffles. Oh, I'd like to take a bite of that right now. Hey, I'm with you. Oh. And Michiba now, and he is starting to deep fry his spring rolls. Yes, he is now. Now, these contain prawns. And a bit of okra. Right, and yep. truffles too. Ooh, I'd like to take a bite of that right now. Hey, I'm with you. Mm. They look great, and now Hattori, a sense of urgency, palpable on that side, getting the plates out, you can hear him, and up in close the glasses here. Let's see, he's got truffles and soft roe, Soft row. now is this to be served cold? Yeah, I, I don't think he's finished with this yet. 15 minutes left, back with the Iron Chef, his dish now starting to come into greater focus, that one. Is what, abalone, this lobster, and what's this creamy stuff? Well, I was gonna ask you. <laughs> don't, I have no idea, he, uh, it looks like he's making a salad. Okay, one dish, a salad, and working hard still, Hattori, as he has been since around the halfway point. He's been working on this one a long time there. Yeah, I, I think I think he's trying to adjust the thickness of the That's celery. That's the, the uh, celery puree, right? Right, exactly. Okay, still got, still sp that's ah, not hardening. Desperate cry there. <laughs> so it, it's supposed not to... Not hardening! It's supposed to thicken up while on the stove, though. Is that yes, correct? Yes, yes, but it's very difficult to do with the celery alone, you know. Hmm. You, normally, when you, when you cook something like this, you, you would add starchy things like rice, potatoes, okay. onions, and... But, you know, that, that makes it mild, too. So, but with celery alone, it's very, very tough. I, I think he's, he's pushing himself. Okay, here. well, looking for a possible solution, he throws in some kind of powder, cornstarch, or flour, and how now he will uh, work on that one some more. On the other side, for Michiba, it's been like a walk in the park so far with truffles not even used in Japanese cuisine, but he's got things under control over there. And now the challenger is on to laying down some sauce, truffles in there, a truffle sauce platform, the beginning of the decorative work as well on this one. President of the Hattori Nutrition College, over 1,200 students, expert commentator, but it's not enough. He wants to become an iron chef, and he can get there by beating this man today. And Michiba, always a handful for anybody, but today, Hattori's compounded his task by having been perhaps a little too ambitious. Kusan? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, in these individual frying pans, he's ladled the truffle and celery root sauce that he was trying to thicken a moment ago. He said he was determined to finish this dish one way or another, so he switched gears and decided to do it this way. All right, the one he's having trouble with, getting that one prepared. Uh, getting over his head again. I guess, what, what is he making, pancakes out of these? Hmm. And adding truffles, he's got, what? An egg yolk. Yes, very lightly boiled yolks. Right, looks good. Sunny side up in the middle of a celery roots puree with truffles. And that looks good. Breakfast is served. Finishing up on that one. So it hasn't been all negative on Hattori's side. And 
Now getting into his presentation work and the finishing touches is the Iron Five Chef. Minutes right. Five Should minutes be left, adding just and a bit more hey, here. here it is, the truffle pie going on top. Yeah, I think he should add just a little bit more, but he's running out of time. Uh, hmm. All right, and again, Ishinabe-san, the truffle sauce there. This is that's perigo, perigo sauce. Okay, and it makes for an impressive contrast in colors. Yeah, it's very nice. Now, swinging back to the Iron Chef here and zooming in on the, what, this is... Well, let a, me see, what does he have here? He's got sweet and sour sauce with the truffles poured over Okay, it. you know, gotta say, it always amazes me how these chefs can finish up most everything they do. So much work for just one hour to conceive the ideas, do the prep work, the cooking, the arranging, the finishing for five, sometimes even six dishes, all simultaneously. It is incredible. It's amazing. Now, what's what's happening here? Uh, well, maybe he, he ran the ice cream machine just a bit too long. Okay. Fukuzan? Yes. Yes, as Ishinabe-san just said, the ice cream was a little bit too hard for his liking. He wants it served softer. I heard him ask for a little bit of sake to be added to soften it up before scooping it back onto the plate. Back to you. All right, so more ice than cream there. Yeah. Now, he could put this on something else. I, I'm not sure what he's going to do at this point. Okay, well, it is supposed to be his truffles ice cream. Hmm. Well, the whole thing may not turn out for the best for Hattori, but you have to admire his gumption for coming in here to take on Michiba. I guess seeing all the action in Kitchen Stadium and doing the commentary on it gave him the bug to actually want to try and make something here himself. All right, a minute left, the final 60 seconds. If Hattori thought he was pressed for time before, this is it, crunch time, nearing the end. The dishes are looking okay. It's coming together. Okay, and the Iron Chef side actually looks more like a wonton there than a spring roll. Prawns and truffles in it. Now Challenger Hattori breaking up the egg yolks atop his to celery go. root puree. The truffles pancake there and gently mixing the yolk into the liquidy mixture. They're not sunny side up anymore. Perhaps the last remnants of sunshine on Hattori's side. 20 seconds. Side. All in a day's work for the Iron Chef, working with an go. ingredient so closely identified with French cuisine, seems to have been Ten no problem for him. Go. Michiba pretty much having it his way. And what a workout Five on both seconds. sides, especially for Hattori, Three, a few glitches two, for the man one. who would be Iron Chef. And that's it, the truffles battle is over. Challenger Hattori has four dishes. First, truffle-flavored sake, warm sake flavored with truffles enjoyed after stirring the soft roux. Second, celery root and truffle puree. The creamy texture of celery root boiled in milk is a platform for gently releasing the noble aroma of truffles. Third, his main dish, foie gras and truffle pie. The truffle-flavored jelly cubes he created are packaged inside, melting in the taster's mouth as a warm and aromatic sauce. And last, truffle ice cream. Tasters should enjoy the harmony between milk and truffles. Iron Chef Michiba has six dishes, including an aperitif created by adding the aroma of truffles to port wine and mixing that with champagne. Second, steamed blowfish soft roe with sweet and sour truffle sauce. Next, boiled egg with truffle and turnip. A thin slice of stewed turnip lies above the truffle and egg. Lobster and truffle salad with abalone and caviar. Who could ask for more from a salad? The yogurt in the dressing adds a hint of sourness. Fried truffle spring roll featuring a wonderful contrast between the crispy skin and the warm, juicy filling. And last, truffle rice porridge, abalone stewed in chicken broth with minced truffles added. An expert, an educator, our commentator, and above all, a man with a passion for cooking, seeking to become an iron chef. Today's challenger, Dr. Yukio Hattori. The road to his appointment goes through this man, iron chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme, and no expense spared, not with French master Robochon, part of the judging, it is truffles. Challenger Hattori, a few missteps along the way, finishes four dishes. The Iron Chef comfortably, confidently incorporates truffles in his six dishes. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the truffles battle are top French chef Joel Robuchon, actress Mai Kitajima, and Rosanjin scholar Masaaki Hirano. First, the dishes of Challenger Hattori. When using truffles, you can't let yourself be intimidated by the cost of it to get good results. Most Japanese are not familiar with truffles, so few of you, I imagine, have had dishes like this, I suppose. 
So with that much to use, I went for the ultimate. You can stir it up to make it milky. Mmm. It should taste a bit like yogurt. Yes, just like yogurt. There's a sourness to it. This tastes very unusual. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> I see quite a harmony in this. At first I was worried about you. <laughs> worried? <laughs> What am I having to try today? But the contrast is very nice. Truffles and egg matches very well. Mm, this one's very good. This is not bad. The celery root and egg accentuates the aroma of truffles very nicely. The combination of ingredients is wonderful. This is such a clever dish. Hatori-san, yeah, you're not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you had cooked this a bit longer. Très bien. The truffles are like chocolate. Mm. I don't want to rub it in because he is admitting this is not ice cream, it's a sorbet, but it tastes very good. And what were Michiba's first thoughts when the truffles were unveiled? Well, first, Japanese matsutake mushrooms came to my mind. I wonder how I did. Mmm, smooth. A whole mouthful. It's good. The aroma seems to be surging upward from the bottom. Very good. The aroma of the truffles is skillfully drawn out. It would have been perfect if the sourness were suppressed a bit more. This is a very sophisticated flavor. The combination of soft roe and truffles is just like that of eggs and truffles to me. Wonderful. The flavor of truffles is accented well. I couldn't even begin to imagine how truffles would be used in Japanese cooking. But really, this is just like chow and mushi. I love it. Gourmets use the word daigomi to express something top-notch. That word fits this dish. Amongst the subtle flavor, I feel the body of the ingredients, a very noble flavor. I was wondering what this would taste like, but it's great. I just wish it hadn't killed the taste of the sea urchin roe. He goes beyond Japanese cuisine and interacts with Western and Chinese top chefs. This speaks of his experience, the fruit of his tireless efforts. This dish intrigues me a lot. The contrast of texture is wonderful. The crispy outside and the moist inside is so pleasant, and the feelings harmonize very, very well. This is so good. I'm out of words. I am from France, the homeland of truffles. I never imagined this ingredient could be used in Japanese cooking. Michiba-san's dishes are great. I was really moved today. With an endorsement like that, Hattori's hopes may be dashed. We'll find out. フレンチの神様がやってきたとあって、お祭り気分で盛り上がった今日のキッチンスタジオ。その中で一番はしゃいでいたのは、やはり挑戦者のハットリユキオその人でした。もし彼が勝ったなら鉄人へ昇格させる
それでは発表します Today, Kitchen Stadium's color commentator stepping away, leaving the microphone behind and stepping into the arena. Challenger Yukio Hattori, cooking is his life, as it is for Iron Chef Michiba, who wowed the French master with his creations. I am proud to call both these men my friend, win or lose. But the moment has arrived. It's time to know who takes it, whose cuisine reigns supreme. It's the Iron Chef Michiba turning back Hattori's challenge, defending his turf. It has to be a blow for Hattori. He was so confident of victory and winning an appointment to Iron Chef. But in defeat, he demonstrated the height of his skills against the man generally regarded as the number one Iron Chef, Roksaburo Michiba.